I am very excited to talk to you about the Jupiter Bass. Jupiter was designed here at Lemur Music with a special purpose in mind and is available only through our store. We plan to talk about how this bass came to be, information about the construction, and some sound clips that should help you understand how special the sound of this bass really is. Today's video promises to be especially interesting because Kevin Stewart is going to be here to demonstrate this bass with his unique slap style technique and plain gut strings all the way across. Upright bass rarely makes enough sound for a public appearance and because some situations don't allow for amplification, we decided to put pencil to paper to create a new bass, a bass that could project more sound, especially in the lower register. We pictured a bass that could compete with banjo on a bluegrass stage or a campground. We pictured acoustic situations where vocals need rich support and rockabilly sessions where the bass often does double duty replacing the trap drums. The construction of the body is laminated throughout with beautiful face veneers giving a very attractive traditional look. So you see here straight grained spruce veneer on the top and then as I turn this around you see some pretty nice flamed um, maple veneer on the back and sides. The body is wide, 20 and a half inches across this upper bout and 28 inches across the lower bout, which creates a deep sound that projects to your audience. Also, the ribs, as you move up here toward the heel of the neck, are narrowed to just under six and a half inches so that the body of the base fits nicely next to yours. And the string length is not long. It's 42 inches, similar to a lot of three-quarter size bases. I must admit that we were concerned such a large bass might have a kind of a thuddy sound, devoid of mid and high frequencies that carry the pitch and the precise rhythm information to your audience. This is where Lemur's advanced sound design makes a big difference. Our unique veneer layup in the top and in the back extends the response upward and projects those important mid-range frequencies that are often missing in a laminated bass. Before moving on to the sound clips, I want to take a moment and reassure you that Lemur's complete setup, including German-made tuning machines, a precisely dressed fingerboard, beautifully fitted bridge, our top quality end pin with a 10 millimeter rod, and a nice padded cover. All of this is part of our regularly advertised price. We are very lucky this afternoon to have Kevin Stewart visiting here at Lemur Music. Kevin is a guy who has played upright bass since 1994. He's a self-taught musician and a tremendous uh, slap style player. And uh, Kevin came in to help us discover or help you understand some of the great qualities of the Jupiter bass. I love the double stops, and uh, you know, as usual, I'm I'm scoping in on the low notes, yeah, because I think it's hard to get gut string unwound, plain gut strings, to have any kind of a clear pitch on yeah. those low notes, and so you're getting that. Yeah, I mean um, that that's why I like the bass line because it kind of goes across the whole sure. spectrum.
The low G you're talking about. Here, yeah. Yeah. Just, just kind of uh, pluck those low notes out. The E. And So when you've got a bass set up like this, um, you're on the bandstand or in the studio, um, what other styles of playing besides the slap do you use this setup for? Mainly slap, pizzicato, um, I'm a plucker too, like old blues dude, not quite slap, not quite pizzicato, you know, just okay. getting volume. And Go ahead and demonstrate that, I want to hear it. Uh, great because you can add intensity yeah. but when dynamics. you start adding the slapping yeah I, it's a little well, dynamic stuff you know um, very much can do it like a